background. Okay. Well, I've already got their stuff. Then it's a little known fact. I was surprised to hear that Gladys Knight is a Mormon. So, good morning. My name is Casey Harmon, and today I want to give you an objective discussion on the Church of Jesus Christ of the Latter day Saints. And specifically, I want to talk with you about the history, the beliefs and practices, and the effects of the church on its members. I think this is a relevant topic because a significant amount of the American population is Mormon, and I think it's important for everyone to be well informed about the lesser known faiths. In regards to my credibility, I have several acquaintances from high school who are practiced who are Mormon, and I've seen firsthand how this religion affects um, people's daily lives. This brings me to my first statement, or my first subject, which is history. And the whole Mormon history starts with Joseph Smith. Um, the Smiths lived in New York in the 19th century. They were devout Christians. And in 1830, this was the year that um, Joseph Smith translated um, the Book of Mormon and thus started the religion officially. The church moved from Illinois to Utah in 1944. This is the year that Joseph Smith was murdered. And in short, the reason that happened was because the other Christian denominations didn't like the fact that A, Joseph Smith claimed to be a prophet, and B, that they practiced polygamy. That was a big no-no, so the church left. And it's kind of interesting that to this day, polygamy is one of the main reasons that Americans are a little wary about this church. And so hopefully in my next section, which are the beliefs and practices of this religion, I can kind of debunk some of the rumors and false truths. Um, and I can best do that with some numbers. And that is, the first one is three. The Mormons believe that there are three gods. God the Father, God the Son, and God the Holy Spirit. They think they're three different beings that serve one purpose. Four, the Mormons believe that there are four holy books which include the Bible, the Book of Mormon, the Doctrines and Covenants, and the Pearl of Great Price. 1890, this is the year that the Mormons stopped practicing polygamy, so even though everyone loves sister wives, the church doesn't really affiliate with them. 1978, this is the year that racism really stopped in the church because this is the year that black men were allowed to hold priesthood um, in zero. This is the amount of toffee, I mean toffee, tobacco, coffee, tea, Cappy and illegal drugs that are consumed by Mormons, which is why you have your high seas because this is a beverage that you can share with the new Mormon friends you're gonna make after you hear my presentation. <laughs> um, many don't see how life could be worth living without their morning cup of joe. But from my research, I can tell that this religion and the rules and the guides that they put in place actually really have a positive effect on its members. And specifically, um, I was kind of happy, my friend from high school, he finally replied to my message, he's super busy about being a Mormon, I'm gonna read his statement to you all. In regards to being a Mormon, Sam Crocker says that being a Mormon is not just about going to church, it is really a lifestyle. Yes, I go to church for three hours on Sunday, but once church is over, it doesn't stop there. I strive to follow the dietary code of the church, which means I don't drink, smoke, do any form of drugs, and drink coffee or tea. I try to eat things to keep myself healthy, which is also a part of our dietary code. I try to live a moral life, which includes saving any form of sexual relations for marriage. Because I strive to do these things, I am eligible to serve as a full-time missionary for my church. I recently received my mission call to Chile, being a Del Mar mission, Spanish speaking, and I will serve in Chile for two years. So from Sam's statement alone, it's pretty clear that he embraces the regulations that they put in place, and he enjoys them because he's really happy with his life. And so other Mormons, probably take a midnight train to Utah. It's clear that the Church of Jesus Christ of the Latter-day Saints is one that is full of rich history, important practices and beliefs, and positive effects on its members. Hopefully, this objective discussion on the Mormon Church held your interest, um, will lead you to research further, and has helped give merit to any judgments made about the religion. Thank you for your time.